Hey, what's up guys? Crew Productions here, and today I have a really cool video on how to make this really cool looking YouTube background. This is going to be a long tutorial because I'm making this for beginners, and not only is this going to be a partnered YouTube background, but if you're not partnered, you can also have it as a regular. What you guys are going to want to do, if it is a regular, you're just going to want to copy this image on top and put it on this, both sides. This will make it look really cool and it's really easy to do and I'm going to be giving you guys a full tutorial here. Even if you guys don't want to make this exact background, I really recommend watching this video just so you can get some really nice ideas on how to make some really cool backgrounds. This tutorial is going to require Photoshop CS6 and Cinema 40. That's all you're going to need. I also have multiple download links in the description to help you guys out. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is we're going to have to make this text that goes on top. This is pretty complicated and you guys are going to need Cinema 4D to do this. You're going to want to go into MoGraph, Mo Text, and then once you have that, you're going to want to change the text to your liking. I recommend doing this at 200, changing the text to whatever your name is. I recommend keeping your name short, frankly, because if it's long, please come up with a shortened name or else it's going to look really weird on your background. Now you're going to want to pick a really cool text. I'll have some cool ones in this texture in this text pack that I give you. It's a whole GFX pack that will be in the description. Please go click on that. You'll download everything and it'll have all these cool fonts and everything that you'll need in this tutorial. So this text is called Xrod. It's really cool and that's what I'm going to be using this tutorial. Once you guys have edited your text to your liking, you will not want to add any caps or change anything else. Just anything on this page you can edit. Now you guys are going to want to go into MoText highlight it and then you're going to want to download this one plugin to download this plugin I will have a link in the description that will bring you to this page this is their page depending on what you have cinema 4d r13 11.5 or r12 through r13 you're going to want to download either one once you've downloaded it you should get this one program that looks a little like this you will need WinRAR to extract this file, but once you've downloaded it, you should get this X breaker. And then all you guys are going to want to do is open up your programs, go to your C, your programs file, or X68, whichever one you've saved it on. Then you guys are going to want to go into Maxon, Cinema 4D R13 or R12, Library, Scripts, and then you're going to want to place it there. So what I'm going to do is you have to drag it, continue, and then you should have it there like this. Once you've downloaded it, you may need to save your project and exit out of Cinema 40. I don't know, but then you guys are going to want to come into Scripts, User Scripts, and Xbreaker. If Xbreaker is here, but if it's gray, that means you've downloaded the wrong version of the program and you will need to get a new one. You either have to downgrade or upgrade it. So all you guys are going to want to do is highlight your text and click this. I recommend doing 25. That means you're going to break each letter into 25 pieces. And then you're going to want to change this into On Collision. You guys aren't going to want to change anything else. Well, that, that'll just mess up the whole thing. Then you guys are going to want to click break now, depending on how fast your computer is, or if you're doing anything at the time, which I'm recording, it will depend on how fast it breaks. All right, then you guys are going to want to click your text, go into MoGraph, and do, click Fracture. Then you guys are going to want to go into Fracture and change this to Exploding Segments. You're going to want to take Mo Text. Put it into Fracture so the arrow is pointing down and that will make Motex a child of Fracture. That means Motex is literally a part of Fracture now and you guys are going to want to highlight Fracture, go into MoGraph, Effectors, and then Random. This will sh this should, if you've done it right, split up your whole text and it will make it look really cool. Now what you guys are going to want to do is to go into Random and change the strength for how much you want it to blow up. Now what you guys are going to want to do is change the strength to your likings. I recommend doing it at around 8. Anything higher doesn't, you can't really read. And anything lower doesn't really look that cool. So it should turn out to look something like this. It looks really cool. Once you guys have done that, you should get these two shapes down here. That's the inside and outside text. You guys can edit these to your liking. Just change whatever color you want. I like doing a blue. That always looks nice. Then you guys can just check the reflection to give it a nice reflection. Have around the same color. You can change the strength. You can also do some glow because glow looks amazing inside of this. Also change the outer strength to your standards. Or whatever you guys prefer. Just change whatever you guys want. And I'll be with you guys when I get back.
Alright guys, I finished with the coloring and this is what I got as a final product. This looks really cool and uh, I really like what I came up, up with. And um, you may notice the lighting is off right here. Don't worry, I have a really easy solution to this and it does require a download link but it's really cool. Now another thing that I will include in the download link is this texture pack that I opened up. It comes with all of these textures in the bottom here that look really cool now what you guys can do and what I also did is you can replace all of this with um, the text so I replaced the outside block with this cool text right here that's black and it looks really cool this is the final image of what I've got but don't worry I will change this lighting and I'll show you guys how to do it right here alright guys so if you click the link in the description it should give you these two GFX packs now once you do this it should be cruise GFX pack and then inside should be GFX pack 1 to a Lightroom, the picture of my background that is finalized, the text that I have that is finalized, and the X breaker as well so you guys won't have to download that. I might also include um, the fonts which are actually right here as you can see. It comes with all the fonts that I use and that are really cool. So I really want you guys to download it and please just click a like because this is just so friggin awesome. Now what you guys are going to want to do is to go into File, Merge, find wherever you saved that Lightroom or my GFX pack, open up the Lightroom, and um, it should definitely improve whatever you've done. Um, another thing that you guys are going to want to do before you go and edit the Lightroom is to go and do MoGraph. My bad. You're going to want to <laughs> you're going to want to open up this thing right here and just go to Camera, and um, then you're going. This is going to go into the camera. This is going to go out to the camera so then it's like there's two different cameras so when you go into the camera it should look like this when you go out so then you're gonna wanna edit it and um, the camera's right there now let me show you the Lightroom um, let me zoom out real quick it's just like two panels right there comes with a bunch of other light bulbs down here um, I would show you guys how to make this, but then that tutorial would be ridiculously long. So um, it comes with two chains, which you can or can't use. You can also find other stuff on the internet. But um, I'm just going to change my view right here by clicking the scrolling mouse. I'm going to move this. Turn it. Move it a tad more. Right about there. Now I'm going to take this guy. Let's move him onto this side. And about like that. Now let's go back to this view. And if we look from this, um, let me lower both of the chains right about onto text. Take the straight. Alright, I'll move this back a tad to go inside of it. And like that. So this way, it's going to look like the two texts, um, the two chains are like coming out of the text, and that looks really cool. Now when we render this real quick, um, the Lightroom will definitely take a lot longer to load. And um, it should have this awesome glare at the top. That just looks sick. This whole font looks sick, and um, I hope you guys got something similar to this. I definitely recommend adding the glow effect, and um, taking your time for the GFX thing that I added down here to load that material in, and then put um, put it into each one of the places. Um, this chain takes really long to load, so um, I'm gonna speed it up, and um, I guess this will be the end for part one of this tutorial. If you guys want to see part two, I'll be um, showing you guys how to um, render it. And then once you've rendered it, how to add th the background stuff and add it into this text. So th guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, please drop a like below. Um, and if you want to make, m if you want me to make more tutorials like this, um, please be sure to comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, this is Creeproductions. Animat, guys. Peace.